What's up guys, this is Jake and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can go ahead and set up discount codes inside of your Shopify store. But before we get into the video, if you do want to learn five ways to instantly increase your Shopify sales, go ahead and click the first link in the description to download my free PDF that condenses everything I've learned over the years of selling products online into five strategies that anyone can use to increase their sales right away. And with that said, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So you're going to need to log into your Shopify store dashboard here and you're going to go ahead and come down here to discounts and then we're going to go ahead and click on create discount right here. So we can go ahead and choose between four different discount types. So we can choose to have a product discount so we can specify a discount that gives us a specific amount off of certain products. We can have the amount off of an order so we can have a discount code that will go ahead and give customers a discount off of their entire order we can have a buy x get y discount so this means if a customer buys one product they will get a discount or maybe a 100 percent discount so a free product on another product so that's how you can create like a buy one get one free and then right in here we could also provide a free shipping discount so we'll go ahead and do an amount off the entire order first and I'll go ahead and click on that right here. And then we can choose right here that we're going to choose our discount method. So we can choose here the method of discount code. So customers must enter this code at checkout. Or we could choose an automatic discount. So we can see that customers will see this in their cart at checkout. And this discount would automatically apply based on certain requirements here. So first off, we'll create a code-based discount and then next we'll create an automatic discount. So we'll go ahead and name this save 20. And we can choose our value of the discount here. So we can choose a percentage or a fixed amount. So for example, we could have it be a code that gives $20 discount on any order or we could have it be based off a certain percentage at this point in this example we'll go ahead and have it be a 20% discount code here then we can select the sales channels where we want this discount to be visible and promoted so our online store is obviously included by default we can also choose additional sales channels in here if we want and then we have the minimum purchase requirements here to be able to use this discount code here so if you want this code to only be valid based on orders let's say over fifty dollars then you can go ahead and put that in right here or if you want to go ahead and choose a minimum quantity of items so the customer has to order say two products for this code to work you can go ahead and do that but in the case of a 20 percent off a discount code you're probably just going to have no minimum requirements because that makes the most sense and then we can go ahead and have the customer eligibility right here. So we can choose whether we want this code to work for all customers or specific segments in here. In this case, we'll leave it at all customers. And then we have the maximum discount uses. So we can choose whether or not we want to limit the number of times discount can be used in total or limit to one use per customer. So if we don't check anything right here, then this code can be used unlimited amounts of time by unlimited amounts of customers. So that's likely not what you want to do. So most of the time you're going to be limited it to one use per customer, but you also could limit it to say just 50 uses in total as well. And you can stack these. So if you want to limit it to one per customer and then also limit it to 50, you can do that as well. And if you're going to limit the amount of times the discount code can be used in total, then you're also going to want to limit it to one per customer. Because if not, then you could have the same person use this discount code 50 times, which wouldn't really be too fair to the other people trying to use the code. So in this case, we'll just limit it to one use per customer and we'll have it be unlimited. And then you can choose to co combine this with other discounts. You can combine it with shipping discounts as well but we don't have any of these created right now so we can't do that yet and then we can choose to when we want this discount to be activated so by default it's going to be active immediately and then we can choose to set an end date if we want so if we don't set an end date this discount will be active indefinitely but if we do choose to set an end date then we can go ahead and come in here and let's say we want this to go ahead and end at the end of the year so on December 31st, 
at 11.59 p.m., this discount code will no longer be valid. So once we've went ahead and created all of our settings, we can just go ahead and click save, and then this discount is live and ready to be used. So we can go ahead and get the shareable link if we wanted to promote this discount code via our email list or social media platforms, etc. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to create a different discount here. So let's say this time we're going to create a free shipping discount. So we could say free ship. And in this particular case, I want to go ahead and make the minimum purchase requirement an amount of money so let's say fifty dollars and i wanted to showcase this because this is very common for a lot of stores to offer free shipping based on a certain minimum purchase requirement so this is how you could go ahead and set that one up and in this particular case it would go ahead and be unlimited and you can choose to combine this discount with other codes as well so in this case we can go ahead and just click save now let's go back and let's take a look at one more example that we looked at before. So amount off order again, but let's take a look at this automatic discount instead. So the automatic discount is one that's going to automatically apply without having to enter a discount code. You could be doing this during a certain holiday event. So it could be like Black Friday discount. So literally everything is on sale and they don't even have to go ahead and input anything at all. So let's say everything on your store is 25% off as soon as you spend $50. And you would go ahead and set the end date to be, you know, a couple days after Black Friday. And this would apply automatically so customers wouldn't have to go ahead and actually enter this discount code at checkout because it would automatically be applying whenever their order meets these purchase requirements here. So that's how we could go ahead and create that one. And now let's go ahead and create the buy one get one free example here. So let's say this discount would be buy one get one free. And then we could say if a customer goes ahead and buys one of a specific product and we could browse our products right here so if they buy one lollipop here then the customer would get one lollipop free right here so this is how you can set up a buy one get one free offer right here pretty easily and you can go ahead and change this based off of the quantity of items or minimum purchase amount and then all these other settings on here are exactly the same so you can go ahead and limit the one per customer and you can combine this with other discounts if you want as well and then just go ahead and click save so that's how you can go ahead and create different discounts within shopify it's pretty easy and straightforward to use you can kind of get creative with your discounts to go ahead and boost your marketing and conversions on your store so with that said if you did find this video helpful be sure to leave it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel for more videos and i will see you guys in the next one